Hi everybody and welcome back to my kitchen. This is Linda. Today we're going to make a special recipe. Today is meatloaf day. But this isn't an ordinary meatloaf. So pull up a chair and we'll get started. This is a pound and a half of ground beef. And it's two different colors because this has been in the refrigerator several days and this is fresh. But it's a pound and a half of ground beef. This is Elvis Presley's meatloaf. And I got it. He had two cooks. He had a morning cook whose name was Mary. And you have probably seen her on the internet doing his famous fried banana peanut butter sandwiches. But his evening cook, who cooked his evening meals, her name was Pauline, Pauline Nicholson. And um, this recipe came from her. So we got a pound and a half of ground beef. We've got a third, well, let me get it over here. A third of a cup of Worcestershire sauce. I got a third of a cup of celery and a third of a cup of onions, chopped onions. I'm going to get that in there. And you know, you all know I my dislike for cooked celery. So, but I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it just like he did. This is a um, tablespoon of um, garlic. And that might be a little over a tablespoon. All right, what out? Two eggs. We're going to put in a teaspoon of pepper. Whoa. Well, we'll just have to go with it. I um, can put the rest back. Teaspoon of pepper. And a teaspoon of salt. couple of shakes of Tabasco sauce. A few, however many you think you might you might enjoy. And um, a cup of breadcrumbs. Now this she didn't specify. I don't know if it was breadcrumbs out of a can or if it was breadcrumbs that she um, made out of old bread. Now we're going to have um, two tablespoons of bacon grease. Alright, that's our and I wore gloves for a specific reason. I don't want to touch this stuff. Alright, now I'm going to mix it all together. And I'll tell you what, when I get through, I'll bring y'all back.
I got my meatloaf all shaped up here. And this is his topping now. This is ketchup. And it didn't say how much. It's ketchup with some molasses mixed in. And I just kind of eyeballed it. <clears throat> so I don't really know. I'm going to taste it. That tastes good. You're not going to believe this. But we're going to put a tablespoon of bacon grease. in that in this topping preheat your oven guys to 350 degrees and this will go in the center of the oven on the you know center rack hope I got enough here get my spatula. In the meantime, I wash some potatoes and uh... Oh, had a major accident right there. Alright, I wash some potatoes and carrots and they're going in there too. Now you all may want to have green beans and um, mashed potatoes and it's up to you what you choose to put with it. Uh, Sam and I are both carrot lovers, so carrots were a natural, natural choice for me. Alright, so this is ketchup, a little bit of uh, molasses, and some bacon grease. Now before I put this in the oven, uh, I'm going to spray my carrots and my potatoes with um, a butter spray so they won't get all wrinkly looking and all of that. And then I'm going to uh, bake it. It says at 350 for 45 minutes to an hour. If you stick a one of those instant thermometers in it, it should register uh, 165. And then we'll be back, guys. All right, our meatloaf is done. And I've never made a good meatloaf. I don't know why. I'm just not good at it. But this one surely smelled good. Now, the potatoes got done, and the bottom carrots did not get get as soft as they should but I picked out the done ones <laughs> and here is the meatloaf let's get a close up of it there it is that's Elvis's meatloaf right there and I got Sam sitting right here and he's going to be the first to try it well I'm if it, I smell it the whole time it was cooking and I, it sure did you want more potatoes no I'm mainly concerned with the meat though you're concerned with it well I got the ketchup right there for you I believe it's got enough all right, let's let's see what you think. It looks wonderful. It smells wonderful, and your meatloaf. I had to cook it longer. Honestly, I I cooked it an hour and uh, fifteen minutes when it said it would be done between forty-five and an hour. But uh, and the internal temperature can be anywhere from one hundred and fifty-five to 165 before you know the meat is done and another thing is Elvis wanted his 
meat to be ground beef. He didn't want ground sirloin. He didn't want ground chuck. He didn't want anything fancy. He wanted ground beef, and that's what I used, ground beef. So what do you think, Sam? Well, I can sure see why he liked it so much. It's delicious. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's delicious meatloaf. Absolutely delicious meatloaf. Looks so hot. Oh, you mean from the oven? Yeah, I love that glaze that you put on it with the... It had molasses and ketchup. Ketchup and a little bacon grease. Yeah, a little so bacon. wonder it hadn't had some peanut butter going no in. Yeah, what can I say? No, it's some of the best I've ever had. Coincidence, my aunt, I was over to her house early and she was making meatloaf, but she didn't, wasn't making Elvis's meatloaf. Well, I can't wait to try it, guys. Well, all I can say, if it's good enough for Elvis, it's to be good enough for us, and it's, <laughs> I sure see why he liked it so much. And uh, his ingredients seem a little quirky with putting that, uh, you know, that teaspoonful of bacon grease on it. Two teaspoons. Two, two te tablespoons. I in, don't understand that. In I, the meatloaf and a tablespoon in the ketchup and molasses. Well, it sure is good. Sure is great. It's not just good. It's very, very good. Try it. You'll feel a close association with Elvis when you're eating it. Does it make you want to sing Blue Moon or well, Jailhouse Rock? No, well, I don't know. It doesn't really make me want to sing. I can't sing, but it's absolutely delicious. Didn't you tell me one time you dated one of his girlfriends? Yeah, girl by the name of Julie Etchner from Pennsylvania. Oh, you never told me her name. Yeah. She worked with Don Ho in his Tahitian dance thing. And they were performing in Vegas at Caesars Palace and Elvis sent the lead dancer, which was her, a dozen red roses. And they dated for about six months. It was in the paper. But yeah, I dated her for about a year. Wow. After, after Elvis discarded her. <laughs> but anyway, besides, we're talking about the meatloaf. The meatloaf is absolutely delicious. Well, thank you, Sam. And thank you all for coming in today and watching this video, spending part of your day with me. Try the meatloaf. I can't wait to try it. Um, please give me a, a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. If you like my style of cooking, please subscribe. Until next time, you take care and God bless. Hey, y'all, I'm just going to keep you a minute, but I have to tell you, this is the best meatloaf I've ever eaten. I have never been good at making meatloaf. And this is delicious. Delicious. So give it a try. It may take longer to bake, and I actually turned the heat up to 375. So use your own judgment. Take care. God bless. See you next time.